Oh, Romania. Probably one of the many countries that have fallen into complete oblivion. Although many people probably never even heard of this nation in this day and age, its glorious past certainly will raise a few eyebrows when looked upon. From Stefan the Great and all the way to Alexis and Ruai and Kuza and Constantin Evrokordat, the state of Romania has had many powerful personalities, the one I'm going to talk about being revered as an actual hero amongst the people. Hi to everyone, my name is Irene Sainu Sebastian and today, one of Romania's greatest heroes, E. Katerina Tatariu. First off, her early life. Ekaterina, originally known as Catalina Tadroiu, was born in the farming family of Elena and Vassal Tadroiu in the village of Vadeni, now a part of Tagujiu, in the historical area of Oltenia. Nicholas, Eftimi, Andrei, Ion, and Vassal were Ekaterina's five brothers. She also had two sisters, Elizabeth and Sabina. She attended the Romanian German Primary School in Vedeni and Tagujiu for four years before graduating from the girls' school in Bucharest. She then enlisted in the country's first female scout group there. When she got home, she started participating in another scout troop. Then the war came. In August 1916, the Kingdom of Romania enlisted in World War I on the side of the Allies. In conflict with the Central Powers forces was practically inevitable. Taitareu, a nurse, fought alongside civilians and reserve soldiers on October 27, 1916, to repel a 9th German Army Bavarian Company attack on the Jiu River Bridge in front of Taguju. The royal family welcomed her to Bucharest on November 6 after being moved by her bravery. She saw her brother Nikolai, a sergeant in the 18th Infantry Regiment, on the front lines on November 13. Shortly after, on November 14, during action near Port Cheni Nagornisol, Sheila Gorge, her brother perished after being hit by an artillery shell. Tateri requested permission from Colonel Obogenu to enlist in the 18th Infantry Regiment as a volunteer in order to exact revenge for her brother's murder. Soon after proclaiming in German that the regiment had decided to surrender, Tateri began firing, terminating many Germans, and allowing the majority of the company to escape. This maneuver demonstrated her military prowess and prevented her company from being captured by the enemy. On the night of 16 17th November 1916, she was later arrested during combat on the Racinatensi Pesti Anna Heights, but she was able to escape with just minor injuries by shooting the German soldier who was guarding her with a gun she had hidden in her clothing. Tater Ayu suffered a right leg injury when the Germans shot at the Romanians fleeing through the pitch blackness. She ignored this, though, and joined the group again that night. On November 19th, Tateru took part in clashes near Barbatesti and Tantarini. The Germans arrived in the town of Filiasi later that day. She was wounded by a motor bomb during fighting that same day near Filiasi, evacuated to Kraua, then to Bucharest, and later admitted to the King Ferdinand and Military Hospital in Iasi. She was released from the hospital on the 5th of February 1917 after a few months of healing from her wounds. She met 2nd Lieutenant Georg Min Wu, the brother of a former classmate, when she was in the hospital. She requested to volunteer as a nurse and join his 4359th Infantry Regiment after being freed. The regiment was billeted in Codisti, Vaslui County, beginning on May 8, 1917. The 4359th Regiment, a reserve unit of General Aramia Grigorescu's 1st Army, began preparing for the impending onslaught on August 17. The unit left Vaslui towards Takechi on August 18, before crossing the Syret and setting up camp in the Maldus Sika Forest not far from the front lines. General Ernest Brastianu, the 11th Division Commander, gently requested on August 30th that she stay at the mobile hospital behind the front, but 2nd Lieutenant Teodoro Wayu vehemently refused him, pleading to be let to take part in the next battle with her platoon. The 4359th Regiment set up camp on the Sekuli Hill in the Mensluvar Nida region on September 2nd. The German 40th Reserve Regiment of the 115th Infantry Division launched a fierce attack on the Romanian lines on September 3, 1917. 
She was shot by machine gun fire while leading her platoon in a counterattack, either in the head according to some stories or the chest according to other accounts. Her final words before passing away were, forward, men, don't give up, I'm still with you. According to General Ordono, one that Colonel Constantin Pomponiu, the commanding commander of the 4359th Regiment, issued the following day. Ekaterina Tadoriu gained fame as a national hero of Romania following the war. She received the Joan of Arc of Romania moniker from Henry Berth a lot in recognition of her exceptional bravery, patriotism, and selflessness. So there you have it. From a scout to a war legend, Ekaterina Tadoriu exceeded her ultimate goal, even if it meant she would lose her life. Anyways, that's it for this video, I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the near future.